Представляем ваше внимание, трехраундовый бой в полулегком весе и по традиции первым представляем спортсмена в синем углу рейча. Привет, everyone. My name is Sasha Sharma. I'm from Germany and I represent Kongstrom Stuttgart. I started MMA in the year 2012. That was the first year when I was competing MMA. So I'm doing this for five years now. In September, that was my debut. I started uh, training MMA in, in the same year. I was doing jiu-jitsu before and a little bit of boxing, but MMA, five years now. Salim Bekumarov, uh, he's, he, he's a Russian fighter, he's a tough dude. And um, to be honest, uh, I can't figure out which style he exactly has. He has like big swinging hands, he's very explosive. And uh, I have to be careful like in every aspect of fighting with him. Salimbek, I'm excited to fight you. I think you're a good fighter, you're a good guy. Let's make a hell of a show here in St. Petersburg. I'm excited for that fight. В синем же спортсмен из Германии. Встречайте! Саша! Sasha Sharma, born and raised in Germany, has a German mother and Indian father. Sharma holds the rank of brown belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Very tight, very technical with his grappling. Sharma extremely humble, self-effacing. He said, I am not an athletic fighter. He said, I make up for it by being a very technical and very smart fighter. Sharma was a cast member season 22 of The Ultimate Fighter. 13 and 3 is his pro MMA record as he enters tonight. Eight career wins by way of submission. All of those subs coming via chokes. Sharma wants to get this fight to the ground, implement his grappling, his jujitsu and look for the quick submission finish. Sasha Sharma, Germany. Ну а прямо сейчас представляем вашему вниманию его соперника в красном углу рейча. Здравствуйте, я Залимбе Гамаро. Я представляю клуб Fight Eagle, город Хасаюрт. Мой базовый стиль – это вольная борьба. В принципе, я уже давно выступаю по ММА. Это не первый поединок мой М1, а мой следующий соперник – это Саша Шарма. Ну, я готов биться и со стойкой, и бороться. На любой исход готов, готов, трудился, готов биться. Саша, это будет трудный бой для тебя. Спортсмен в Красном Груидже представляет Российскую Федерацию. Город Хасавирт, Республика Дагестан. Клуб Fighting Eagle. Встречайте! Залимбек Амара! The Russians, Alan Begomarov. 8-2-1 is his pro MMA record. 
Omarov, a very hard worker, truly a grinder in the best sense of the term in MMA. His last four wins have all gone the three round distance. Very much a fighter who's willing to take his time, rely on his outstanding cardio, set a high tempo, and then grind out his opponents with a heavy top game and constant pressure. Omarov in our fighter meeting told me he respects the Brazilian jiu-jitsu of Sasha Sharma. He does not want to get stuck on the bottom. On the ground, he feels it's imperative to stay on top. Omar, I've said quite simply, I have to be smart if this fight goes to the ground. Sharma versus Omarov, most likely this fight will go to the ground for a significant period of time. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an M1 challenge bout in the featherweight division. Now let me introduce your fighter in the blue corner. This fighter is 30 years old. He weighed in at 65.8 kilograms. He stands 178 centimeters tall and has a professional record of 13 wins with only three losses. Representing Germany, please welcome Sasha Sharma. And now welcome his opponent in the red corner. This fighter is 27 years old. He weighed in at 65.4 kilograms. He stands 173 centimeters tall and has a professional record. Eight wins, two losses with one draw. Representing Fighting Eagle Team, Salimbeg Omarov. And your referee is about Ugash Musatsky. Fighters. Okay, fighters, know the rules, listen to my commands all the time. When I say stop, we stop. Touch goes. Go back to your corners. In the featherweight division, Sasha Sharma versus Zalim Bego Morov. Judge. Judge. You ready? Ready. ready. Fight. The gong in round number one. Black and gray trunks for Sasha Sharma, black and red trunks for Zalim Bego Morov. As you can see, Sean heavily taped knees there for Sharma. Something to go for, like a, a knee bar or a heel hook, that'll pop the knee. Sharma extending out the left hand, the conventional, the right-handed stance. Not really throwing the jab, just sticking out the left hand, the gauge distance. Omarov already on his bike, you see circling to his left. And to the inside goes Sasha Sharma. Nice counter knee by Omarov. Looking for the scoop oh, double, and he oh. hits it. He had a guillotine, but wasn't tight enough. As soon as he hit the floor, his head popped out. Close guard immediately from Sharma. Sharma very comfortable fighting off of his back. And very active early with his guard. Yeah, he's got wrist control. Is he going to push it through for triangle? He's trying. Omarov keeping his head tucked, now raising up to throw the left in another. There's a triangle attempt. Sharma walking up his legs, walking up his guard. Trying to get over the left shoulder of Omarov. There and he go. does now. Yeah, he's got a tight. Needs to pull that knee or that leg underneath the knee. The foot needs to be nice and tight. Tries to switch it to get a bit high. There we go. Now he's got his ankle. He's going to pull it through. Omarov trying to stay heavy on the stack. And it's Sharma looking for the triangle. Oh, it's even tighter now, Sean. If he, tries, if he gets the underhook of that leg and pulls him over, it's going to be game over. This is very tight indeed. Sharma was just reaching through for the leg. It's hard to see how badly he's pushed up against the, the bottom of the cage there. He manages to adjust again, but Sean is very, very complacent. He's not going to rush anything. Referee Wukash Bosaski positioning himself. Looking closely at this triangle attempt from Sasha Sharma. Sharma, more squeeze now. 
the thing what's given him a little bit of saving grace Omarov left arm is still in the triangle if he can lock it up can still be put on from that position but that's what's given him a little bit of breathing space now it's tighter even deeper indeed on the triangle from Sasha Sharma if Sharma can underhook the leg see when he brings his leg up like that if he can underhook the leg it can there's gonna try it there we go Scoop. he can actually tighten it up even more so scooping for the leg now is Sharma warning by Bosaski to Sharma right hand into the fence Sharma's not going to rush anything. This is a, a triangle which is on approximately 90% of it's there. Just needs to finish it off. But it's that arm that is stuck in, the left arm of Omarov, which is giving him that saving grace. He's pushing and trying to push the leg away, which is creating a little bit of distance. Now the, the angles are crossed. He might switch to an arm bar now. 145 remaining round number one. Now switch. looking indeed for the arm bar, Sharma. Well, great attempt by Sharma, but no prize. Again, he's got the wrist control. He's going to try and push it through. He went over the top, looked like he was going to sweep him over, but he's up against the fence. He's not going to be able to sweep him that side. Fishing for the guillotine now, Sharma. A little more squeeze, left hand to the body from Zelenbeg Omarov. Machine, I think this is an example for people scoring as they watch at home around the world when the bottom fighter is actually winning because of the activity, the yeah. submission attempts. I agree, Sean. He could have switched to Maplata there. But great, great Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu there from Sasha Sharma. When you're scoring MMA, you simply cannot say that the fighter on top is winning. That's just naive. Sharma is the aggressive fighter after the takedown from Omarov. And Omarov largely playing defense from top position. Now trying to be a bit heavier, forearm in. Back to close guard for Sharma. Sharma overhooks the arm. During the walkout, I talked about the patience of Zalembeg Omarov. You're seeing that here. Absolutely in no hurry. Well, to be honest, he's been stuck in a triangle for the past three minutes, so he, he couldn't hurry even if he wanted to. Patient now, wide base. Conservatively not opening up is Alan Big Omar with his ground and pound, and that's the end of a very technically sound round number one. Those of us who love grappling like you and me, Machine, really appreciate that opening round. It was very technical. Slowly but surely, he was trying to tighten up that triangle. I could see everything he was going for. Omarov did well not to get his leg caught because he could have underhooked the leg and that could have made things really bad. So there was the takedown. You see the positional awareness of Sharma taken down. Immediately closed his guard and started walking up that guard, walking on the triangle. Omarov was definitely stuck, but kept his composure. Well, Omarov will definitely be worried about that guard now. He knows how strong Sharma has a triangle armbar attempt. Seconds out call by Wukash Bosatsky. Well, you just wonder how the judges have scored that first round, Sean. Like we say, it was all work from the bottom, so you would kind of think it would be to Sharma, but let's see. Round number two. Oh, kick right in the cup. That was in the cup. That was definitely in the cup. Wow. Time called by Bosatsky. It's a very distinct sound. Yeah. You... Yeah. Foot on plastic always sounds the same. See the ringside physician now tending to Sasha Sharma. What's the knee? Where's his hand? He's not. <laughs> well, only in Russia do we see these kind of tactics for a groin shot. <laughs> Just
Truer words have never been spoken on an MMA broadcast. I thought he was giving him internal examination there at one point. <laughs> Sharma has up to five minutes to recover. Happily back to his feet. Sharma still taking his time. Can you see the kick into the cup from Zelenbeg Omarov? Yeah, it was obviously accidental, but it happens. Okay? I know, but water Okay? Mosaski saying to Omarov, I know it was unintentional, but you need to be aware. To be honest, it's always the inside leg kick which causes the kick to the groin. Of knees in the clinch, yeah, I agree, but when you're doing a, a low kick, it's always the inside kick which causes that. Time in, round number two resumes. Outside trip, hit by Omarov. Looking for the sweep immediately is Sharma. Well, very surprised that Omarov went for the takedown. Close guard again from Sharma. Not sure if that's a wise decision, Sean. See if Omarov tries to open up from top position. He really did not do so, and again, stuck in that triangle for a good portion on the ground in round number one. But in the center of the rage as well, there's no bottom fencing that's going to get him caught. Open mat grappling. Sharma trying to use that long, lanky build for a featherweight. So active with his bottom game. And Omarov so patient with his top game. Switches to the other side now. He's got wrist control on the other arm. He'll try and bring the left leg over. Sharma, you can see, fishing, looking for a sweep, looking for a triangle. Note the left hand of Sharma on the hip. Couldn't find the sweep. Sharma holding half guard, posturing onto his hip. Again, pulls full guard, got the half butterfly, no one regards him. Sharma controlling the right arm of Omarov. We'll see how patient Lukas Bosatsky is. There's a sweep, oh, Neely. Omarov doing a great job defensively, yeah, maintaining good. his position. Really good balance. There's that triangle attempt again. Also trying to straighten out the arm is Sharma. Switch to armbar, switch to armbar. There we go, missed it. Ah, big right hand from Omarov. Back to close guard for Sasha Sharma. I really love high quality grappling in MMA. The only problem is Sean is trying the same submission attempt. So that means Omarov only has to defend the triangle. You know, I'd like to see him go for other submissions. Maybe it's a Kimura or something. Or just to give Omarov something to think about. There's a guard pass. Speaking German in the blue corner of Sasha Sharma, speaking Russian in the red corner of Zalembeg Omarov. Sharma again posturing onto his hip out of half guard. Well, there was a Kamura attempt. He missed it though. Omarov trying to be a little more aggressive back into the full close guard of Sharma. I talked about Omarov being a grinder, and you're seeing that grinding style on display machine. It's low risk, but it's heavy on control for Zelenbeg Omarov. Well, for sure, he's definitely taking this round. Omarov trying to clear his legs. Oh, guillotine attempt. A little more squeeze on the guillotine now from Omarov. Sharma's doing well by keeping the hips away. Not now. Knee to the body. Morov losing the choke. Still the control. Loses the control. Sharma back to his yeah, feet. Great work by Sharma. Sharma right back to the inside. 80 seconds remaining, round number two. Well, we've yet to see Sharma in top position on the ground, so it'll be nice to see what he can do from there. He was the one who initiated the clinch here. Can he get the takedown? Pressure from Omarov. 
Sharma's back against the ropes. Left hand from Sharma, right hand from Omarov. Nicely done on the turn from Sasha Sharma. Oh, he pulled guard. Oh, I'm not a fan of pulling guard. Jump guard, close guard. Tactic that is largely disappearing from MMA. You saw it right there from Sasha Sharma. There was no point in it to be on a show, and he, was, he wasn't in trouble standing up. He could have broke free and threw punches. He was still in a good position to throw knees, yet decided to jump guard. To no avail as well. More of staying heavy, you see his big wide base. Walking up the body of Sasha Sharma in the final seconds of round number two. Sasha Sharma versus Alan Beg Omarov in the featherweight division. We will go to the third and final round. Well, depending how they scored round one, whether they scored Sharma with the great submission attempts. But Omarov definitely won that round two, so it could be one each, could be. So this could be a third and final. Deciding round. Both fighters using their striking to get to the inside, and that was nicely done. And the inside takedown, the outside trip from Zalim Beg Omarov. Sharma tricky with his half guard, posturing on his hips. Couldn't find the triangle, went for the arm bar. Omarov showing a lot of poise in top position through the opening 10 minutes of this fight. Those punches from both men. Omarov on the top, Sharma on the bottom, just used to create space. Machine, I think you nailed it on the scoring. For me, Sharma definitely won round number one. Omarov won round number two, but will all three M1 judges give round one to Sharma? Because even though he was the offensive fighter, he was the bottom position fighter. Yeah. Oh, he got tagged on the way in. Third and final round again. Omarov. Jump guard from Sasha Sharma. Marv was looking for the takedown, but it was Sharma who initiated that sequence. Open guard from Sasha Sharma. And again, posturing onto his hip from half guard. Well, Omarov could pass easily if he wants to here. Oh, he puts himself back into half guard. That's a strange move. Marv now trying to take the back, and he does. Nice one hook in. Got to really make a choke, but how tight is it? Taking the back, that's oh, on the that's chin. On, that's got it, he's got it. Oh, he turned, Sharma turns beautifully. Gorgeous turn from Sharma. I turning, thought it was under. Turning right back into Omarov textbook. And Omarov still maintaining dominant position. Now semi-dominant as he's in the closed guard of Sasha Sharma. Omarov continuing to walk up the body of Sharma back to his feet. And back to his right knee. Taking the back again. Sotsky talking to both fighters. Look away punch from Sharma. Again, the half Nelson crank, trying to open up the chin. Looking for the neck crank rather than the rear naked choke. Karmarov. This arm, if he puts it underneath the armpit, instead of over the top of it, the guy's gonna lose position now. Sharma sucking in the ankle defensively. Control as well. Sharma trying to peel off the left leg of Zalimbeg Armarov. He's just taking punishment for doing it. I don't know what. What he's thinking by this, now he's going to go for the tour lock. He 
needs to grab that with his right hand. Now he's got it with the right hand, needs to lock up his wrist now. If he can put his hand on his wrist, he could get the tall lock. Sherbert trying to roll under and through. Looking for oh, the toe hold. hold. He's going for a cough. He's going for a cough slice there. It's working. There's a lot of squeeze. Sherman Omar rolls oh, out. Oh my, he's out of it. He's out of it. Great work by Sharma, but just not good enough. Calf slicer is a pain compliant submission. Omarov did not flinch, now taking the back. Oh, that's under the chin now, John. Getting deep tight. is Omarov. Oh, he managed to turn out of it. Good submission defense from Sharma. But if you're defending, you are losing under judging an M1, under the unified rules in modern MMA. Long days are the go are long gone are the days when you're rewarded by the judges for defending submissions. Sharma playing a lot of defense. Final minute now of a really technical, entertaining featherweight fight. Well, he's just taking punishment now with Sharma. He needs to move out of here. Saying that Omarov is not allowing it. See the control of Zalembeg Omarov. He's used a half Nelson. Now just controlling the shoulder. Yeah, he's just in a holding position now. He's quite happy with what he's done. He feels he's done enough work to win this round. Trying to open up the neck once more of Sasha Sharma. Sasha Sharma needs a finish. He's Omarov. got a finish. Staying heavy, one hook in. 15 seconds, I don't think that's going to happen. This is really a classic Zalembeg Omara performance. Heavy grinding top pressure all the way to the end of this fight. Yeah, great work by Sasha Sharma, but no cigar. I think he was just outclassed by Omarov, and I think Sharma knows that. He's still on the canvas. They're already celebrating in the corner of Zalembeg Omarov. The look of real disappointment on the face of Sasha Sharma. The official's table from One Global. Sasha Sharma just could not get his top game going. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard for a unanimous decision in favor of your winner, Zalembeg Omarov. Well fought, well won for the Russians. Alan Big Omarov defeating the German, the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt, Sasha Sharma. Music, now, nine wins against two losses, one draw in his pro MMA career for Alan Big Omarov. That is a victory in which to be proud. Both fighters came in, winning this fight on the ground, wanting to utilize their high level grappling but with very different intentions. Sharma, the submission specialist. Omarov, the position specialist. And it was position over submission throughout the course of three rounds and 15 minutes. Sharma very active on the bottom. Omarov going hard for the rear naked choke there. You see the hand fighting. Sharma able to effectively turn his way out. So much of this fight, especially after round one, it was Omarov attacking with submissions and Sharma with submission defense. The winner, by way of unanimous decision, Salimbeg Omarov defeats Sasha Sharma.